Good evening. The Big Sioux River is one of Sioux Falls' most valuable resources. It, along with the Big Sioux Aquifer, supplies nearly 50% of the city's water supply. But there's growing concern about the river's quality due to several factors, including agricultural runoff, industrial growth, and believe it or not, pets. Tonight, Cutterland Investigates digs into the river's, river's quality and why people should be concerned. Earlier this week, Cabo Land Investigates showed you staff from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources taking water samples from the Big Sioux River. Investigators were notified last week ammonia levels from Smithfield Foods were higher than the regulatory standards. The pork plant quickly corrected the problem, but environmentalists are still concerned about water quality. Dana Lowski is chairman of an organization called Friends of the Big Sioux River. Our goal is really to restore the river to what it was years ago, which, and, and which would meet the DNR standards for use, which basically means swimmable again. Lowski says besides factories like Smithfield, there are bigger concerns with what he calls non-point sources of pollution. And non-point source pollution comes from a variety of places. It can come from agricultural fields, it can come from feedlots, it can come off parking lots, streets, our lawns, etc. The city tests the Big Sioux River and Skunk Creek twice a week to continually monitoring the river's quality. Jesse Nyans is a city environmental analyst. He says their tests show that the Big Sioux River has contaminants like E. coli and bacteria. Especially when we've had high flows like we have this year with a lot of rain, there's a lot more of those washing into the river. They come from various sources, ag land, lawn fertilizer, and pets. The more people, the more pets, and if they go to the bathroom outside and it rains, it washes those pollutants into our river and causes a bigger problem. To help reduce the amount of contaminants draining into the Big Sioux River, the city has worked with farmers and even its own park system to let some of the grass grow tall near the river. What that does is filter some of that runoff from those rain events before it can get into the river and hopefully reduce some of those pollutants. And it's working. The city and environmentalists have seen the spike in bacteria drop. So we're making a little bit of progress. So, so you really have to tip your hat to the conservation agencies and the farmers that work with them to say we want, we want to do better. If you would like to learn more about the river's quality, we have put a link to it under this story at KelloLand.com.